body count. It's two. Probably like 13. I got one more question. Do y'all kiss me on the cheeks? I mean, yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, man. What? Oh, is it serious? What? <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Right. What? What? Bro, 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 There exist people that think that that was okay. That as soon as you walk down the street with your girl, she run up to any n that got a camera out talking about, let me be in the video. And it's nothing personal. Because that's how this, because that's how this happened, right? The four of them are walking down the street. These two dusty thoughts seen some fucking filming and they're like oh we want to be in it or maybe they get stopped and ask the question mm -hmm. and then but then some no nah, no nah, they didn't get stopped because the girls are over there and the dudes are not even involved mm -hmm. i'm sorry bro i'm not going out and having my girl run up to random niggas and be talking there while i'm standing over here looking like a goofy yeah right like like looking off like oh, what am i doing here like are you fucking crazy are you insane i don't I, it either they're making these whores crazy these days or making these niggas hella pussy, <laughs> huh? Something wrong with the with the um with the manufacturing factory, brother. Yeah. Cause these women these days are garbage, mm -hmm. and these niggas these days are soft. What is that, bro? Both. What is that shit? That could never happen. If you're a grown man and you're a girl, stop with that shit. This means nothing, boy. The the by the time she opened her eyes from doing that shit, I'm halfway down the block, nigga. <laughs> I'm rounding the corner. Where you going? Suck my dick. What are you talking about? Kick rocks. What the fuck? Don't ever call me again. What the fuck? Wow. Right in front of her boyfriend? This is just so cruel. Mental hey, illness. Women, when they're doing stuff behind your back, they start trying to accuse you for it because their conscience is eating them up. So if you're dealing with a girl and she's all of a sudden starts accusing you of stuff, who were you with last night? What are you doing? You're like, where is all this coming from? Your behavior hasn't changed. It's because she's cheating, bro. She starts to accuse you of cheating because that's what she's doing. So she's thinking you're doing the same thing. You got a you girl like you're that. dealing with, a girl you're talking to, and you just notice how she start accusing you here and there of doing this and that. It's because she's doing it, bro, and she's yep. projecting that projecting on you. Notice that, right? that right there and don't. Don't wait for it to be in your place. If a girl starts accusing you of cheating randomly like that, all for no reason, be like, hey, baby, it's time for us to end this. Because she is cheating on you. Someone who projects their own problems onto other people are mm -hmm. the worst. Yep. So, like, two days ago, I got arrested by my ex-boyfriend because I was banging on his window Bye. because he got mad about me sleeping with some other guy. She belongs to the street. Either way, that fucking he got me arrested. I was handcuffed. I was so sad. And oh, he was rude. I was so mad, but I still banged on his window. The guy that handcuffed me, he was super cute. And I was like, hey. Not only did so let me get this straight. This thought cheated. The man is mad. She doesn't care. Shows up, starts banging on his window. He calls the police. And her response is to flirt with the cops that arrested her. Now you see why he didn't want, to, want you in there. I still banged on his window. <laughs> Not my window, bitch. I'll tell you what. I would have put my foot through that window and kicked you in your head. What are you doing? What are you doing? Looks to me like you're committing a burglary. Bitch. Fuck out of here, son. She, she acted like a psychopath after Straight up buzzards, she bro. Is you're definitely right. for the streets. Are you more loyal to your friends or the man that you're with? I feel like that's a complex question, but to give a simple answer, if me and the dude are an established, committed relationship, probably my man, for sure. But if it's not that, then my friends. Okay. Then why'd you get in a relationship? Okay, then. Good luck finding yourself a new partner, then. Right. The result of the test shows that you were mine on that particular if question. You? That question had to be whether or not she was someone with you. Sorry. Is the baby even mine? Are you serious? I asked if you were pregnant. It's already broken. That answer, that answer was a lie. Oh, shit. So she's pretending to be uh, pregnant. Or I'm like... just giving the reason. Why would I lie about that? I don't know, man. That's not, that's not what I did. Laura, are you actually pregnant? She's yes, I am. Why would I lie? Oh no, nah, this bitch not pregnant. She not, she not pregnant. She lying. I was trying to see if this is a skit, but not nah, the way she was grabbing his arm and shit. Nah, this is real. So why was machines grabbing the ass of your name and your color of your shirt? Hold on, that one it shows wrong. Can let me know. Okay, first of all, can we do it again? Do it again. It shows you lying. We have no interest in lying. It doesn't make sense. 
Let me tell you something. Bitch, I have you take a lie detector test, and you tell the lie detector nigga you're lying when he catches you lying, I know you're lying. You are. Say the test is wrong, but the, the, the interviewer don't even know you. Why would he be lying? Here. I'll say that this is Job, that's what they ask He's certified. Like, if he lies, he's going to lose his certification. Okay, gangster. Here, here's what's gonna happen. You, he's lying. Right, let's go to the doctor. Let's go to the doctor. I don't yeah. know why he didn't do that in the first place. Right. Because honestly, listen, if right. a girl come up to you saying that she's pregnant, you should go to a doc at least one doctor appointment with her to right. confirm this shit. Right. Like, like what? Are we talking what? About? Nah, absolutely not. Yeah, because when because when you find out you're pregnant, the first chance that there's a chance to test the baby, you better Do it. you better for for DNA, you better believe Do I'm gonna it. have that done. So there's no way that you could fake a pregnancy on me and that I wouldn't figure out that it's fake. But the thing is, a lot of women do this. They'll they'll say that they're pregnant knowing that they're not, use a fake test and try to uh Finesse a man like this. Yes. They do this all the mm -hmm. time. Start finessing money out of niggas. Oh, I need money. To, They're for not the baby. even pregnant. Not one time. They'll use a fake, uh, fake uh, pregnancy test just to fool the man. Yeah, and son looks stupid to be honest. Cause I don't know yeah, why. He look a little. Foolish. He look a little silly. Cause I don't know why he's like entertaining this conversation. Like, I, why are you having the polygraph nigga explain himself? Yeah. Like. He's not lying. Why would he lie, bro? He seems like he gets all the red flags and <coughs> ignores him. Yeah, exactly. Because clearly the machine, that's like, she doesn't even, these retards don't even know how the machine works, bro. Like, the baseline questions it got correct. Right. Your, the color, your color of your shirt, your age, your hair color. Are you a woman? Right? Now, it's, but, but it's, it's broken when it comes to are you pregnant? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. With the lie detector results in front Damn, of them, the chances of her getting out of this are slim to none. Right. He goes down at the bachelor buddy. I actually went to like a club that had like gave me a lap dance. Pretty much, it was great. You cheated on your husband at your bachelor buddy. No, he wasn't my husband. If you have a ring on your finger, then you don't do nothing. I really hope her wow. husband caught wind of this video because she has a lot of explaining to do. Right. Wow. We have been together. When? Two years? Hey, do you guys trust each other 100%? No, yeah. no way. Maybe we trust it there. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Go to the small phones. Okay. Go to a snapshot. Who but did he it? Do it. I I oh shit, it's her. Fuck. Sure. Yeah. Why do you have a Who is has? That is my daughter's friend. <laughs> 36 Day Street. Oh, come on. The tongue emoji. Oh, well, that was an accident. How was it an accident? How's that an accident? It was right next to my other emoji. Who is breaking? Oh! Son's friend. <coughs> <coughs> what? No. Nah, they there be some some adults like this, men and women, that be going after their kids' friends. There are some people like this. That's, That's the crazy. second friend. <laughs> That's the second kid's friend. <laughs> Jesus. Twenty years, bro. Twenty years, and she just, bro, bro, bro. And this is the same motherfucker that'll pop up and say, um, she want to get a divorce for irreconcilable differences. She gonna be the one that chase you for alimony. I'm telling you, like, you belong in the night circle of hell for this type of behavior. What the fuck? Please tell me she's not a stay-at-home mom. That'll just be the final nail in the coffin, dude. Dude, shut up. 190 Day Street. Stop touching it, bitch. 190 Day Street. That is correct. No, this is this. These are. Whoa, whoa, hard eyes. You sent hard eyes to your son's best friend? It was. I don't I'm even a, know what it was. It was a mistake. <laughs> How you don't know? I don't know. What's that picture he sent? Why are you? Why are you swiping out of it? I see you. Huh? Good talk, man. You guys have a good night. Okay, good night. We're, 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 we're going home, man. Huh? We're, we're going home. You guys have a good night.
Yeah, right off the bat, I could tell these two were not committed to each other. It's so awkward to see the two men arguing when the problem is right in front of them. Yeah. Of all women, have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. Yeah, it's the same way how they be keeping escape funds. Yeah, right. That's the same thing. Fucking damn thieves. I have to sit here and defend all of us women. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as happily married. Wait a married. sec. They're they married. 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 married women are doing married. this? Have a backup plan. <laughs> In most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend Jesus. who never made it to the dating category. Oh my God. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. Problem is, is social media has just mm -hmm. made it too easy to have such a type of <clears throat> yep. How can one say men cheat more than women when the evidence is right here? Mm-hmm. I mean, men don't cheat more than women. Women clearly cheat more. Mm-hmm. And they cheat more because it's easier. Even if... You want to say that men more often than women have the inclination to cheat. Mm -hmm. That might be true. But there are some niggas that want to cheat and can't. Mm -hmm. Or can't get the ones they want so they don't bother. Right? Any woman who decides they want to cheat can do so. And they can get mostly whoever they want to do so. That's true. And that's the problem. That shit crazy, son. How you getting upset and you the perpetrator, huh? <laughs> 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 right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Guilty! Hang him. I got the rope right here. Guilty! That nigga is guilty! <gasps> I got the rope right here. <laughs>